Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanna to talk to you about this little QRP pocket tuner, but don't let the name fool you. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've gotta to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So over the last year or so, maybe year and a half, I have limited myself to resonant antennas. Uh, so that included uh, the linked dipole by Pactenna. I've got their 20 and 40 meter version. It's a fantastic antenna. Uh, and it also includes my own InFed half wave. Uh, and that antenna will do 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters with no tuner required. And the reason I've kind of uh, kept two resident antennas is twofold. Uh, first, I wanted my antennas to be as efficient as possible for one, and B, I wanted to eliminate uh, some of the large tuners that I had used in the past. And I've used several different ones, some, some desktop models uh, in the shack, and then some smaller, uh, more portable uh, tuners in the field, and I've used both manual and automatic tuners. Um, but I, I wanted to get away from those because, A, they were just overly large. Uh, it was one more piece of kit that I was just trying to eliminate. It was uh, a weight savings and one less thing that could fail. However, uh, with both of those antennas, mine and the Pactenna, I was missing 80 meters. Now, I could just build a full-size 80-meter dipole, or I could extend the wire on out for this kit, but that requires a lot more real estate. And in the setting I'm in today, um, I probably could drag out something that's 80 meters, but it's going to run a real risk of uh, getting tied up in the tree limbs and things like that. It's just not going to be any fun to deploy. But for those times that I wanted uh, to run 80 meters, I've, up until now, I've just kind of been out of luck. And then Grant, one of my patrons, sent this uh, little tuner to me in the mail. By the way, thanks Grant, this thing is a huge hit with me. I probably wouldn't have bought this tuner though based on the name alone. The name of it's the QRP Pocket Tuner. It's a MFJ9201. Well, anything that's labeled QRP, I automatically think is only good for 5, 10, maybe 20 watts, uh, but usually never over 20 watts. The interesting thing was, is after he sent me this course, I go and download the manual from MFJ's website. Lo and behold, this thing is good for 100 watts. I couldn't believe it. I read it twice to make sure I didn't misread that, and uh, it said 10 watts, but no. It says it's good for 100 watts. Now, the build quality is fantastic on this. Um, it does come with BNC connectors. The form factor is another great thing about it. Uh, this thing is slightly bigger than a Raspberry Pi in the high, I think it's the Hi-Fi Berry case that I use uh, with a power board. This thing is just slightly larger than that. Now, I didn't weigh it before I came out here to the field, but I will overlay an image right here of this thing sitting on the scale so you can get an idea of how much it weighs. But when you're talking about this form factor and practically no weight at all, how can you not have this in your kit? I still want to use the resonant antennas, but should I want to use 80 meters uh, for a quick wind link connection or maybe a JSA call, I can put this guy in line with the antenna, tune up this antenna to 80 meters and make that wind link connection. So I just wanted to show you guys this because all too often, uh, well, at least me, I judged the book by the cover. I looked at the name, you know, and automatically just assumed something. That may not always be the case. So you guys check this out. It's very inexpensive. I think uh, it's $59.95 on MFJ's website. So the price is great. The build quality is nice. It works fantastic. I had no issues whatsoever tuning this up. Now I couldn't quite get it down to one-to-one. -to -one. Maybe I could play with it a little bit more 
and uh, get this to tune down to one to one. But I did get it down to around 1.4, maybe 1.5 to one. But I was able to successfully make that 80 meter wind link connection once I plugged this thing up using this antenna. All right, guys, I hope you'll check it out. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.